left on the left side. So it's a tricky little second shot coming in here. Long and straight. That's how you do it. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, you've been there, down to the wire at several U.S. Opens. What's that pressure like? It's so different from any other type of uh, major championship because that's normally the toughest test. That's where the scores are the highest I, relative to par. Um, that's actually where par itself is a, is a good score. I mean, you bruised and battled uh, by the end of the week. With the exception, really, remember when Rory McIlroy won at Congressional? That's the, the one time when a US Open played soft. But uh, Martin Keimer at, at Pinehurst on a firm, fast golf course, it's a different test. Uh, Tiger Woods at, at Pebble Beach. You, you just think of people struggling at the end of the week and, uh, and, and really last man standing. That's what a US Open means. Frank, we haven't seen a whole lot of that, but no doubt it feels good. Getting set to tee off at the 11th hole, long par four, 537 yards. Frank, how do you play this hole with a bazooka? Yeah, try and take that June out of play, that's for sure, in the middle of the field. Bunkers down the left are more for scenic rather than, uh, they're not really problematic for the, for the player off the tee. Just, uh, as I said, hit it over that June, and then uh, really there's a ridge in the middle of the screen, so you've got to be on the right level. Excellent start off the tee. That's a great way to begin this hole. The 11th hole, Frank, what's the right way to get at it? Just got to be cognizant of that ridge that cuts through the middle of this green that sort of turns this green into one simple green and all these little complex sort of sections. That's the biggest thing, but that's also, you realize very, very quickly, you're playing Lynx golf today. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot now we'll have this for birdie. Now it's that sneaky distance. Frank had the touch of a plumber right there. Yeah, you'd like a redo, wouldn't you? Wake up, wake up! <laughs> Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Frank, as a player, do you like the drivable par four? And we've seen these setups now at just about every single U.S. Open. When you're playing well, there's no question, then they favor the guy playing well. But if you're struggling, no one likes their hand forced. The 12th forces your hand. It's tough to lay up on this hole. <laughs> Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes. He has just knocked it on. What a shot. Speed wasn't bad on that long putt, but the read wasn't very good. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. So early on the backside here at the 12th hole, missed opportunity. And getting ready for the putt. Oh. 
Well, not in contention, but in for par. Coming down the stretch here at the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay, just six holes to play, and Frank, this par 4 13th will really test the players. It is. If someone makes three here down the stretch, it will be monumental. A four here, no one, no one would leave this hole unhappy. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Sit down, get down. Oh, this is this is gone. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Got it for par. Frank, a fifth consecutive par four here at the U.S. Open. This is the 14th hole, and I'm guessing by the time you set foot on this tee, you'll know exactly where your game is at. Oh, this one here, great reward for someone that's driving the ball well. If you can drive it you know, down the left middle, avoid that little one-pot bunker in the middle of the fairway, you're going to certainly shorten this hole up, and uh, then you can start to use the contours of this hole too that bend right to left, and 546 yards becomes much shorter than what you would think. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Frank, just a slight miss off the tee. He's in the fairway bunker. Yeah, I just really got to pick the right club once again. Sometimes you take a little bit more club out of the fairway bunker, choke down. And second shot. What would you can't reach the green? out of a fairway bunker, do the next best thing. That's put the ball in play. That's exactly what we just saw. Smart shot. And he's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. Nineteen feet away. Well, you just can't make up ground if you don't make putts. Drop shot here at the 14th hole. Hoping to drop only one shot. This for bogey. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Now to the 15th hole here at Chambers Bay and the U.S. Open. It stands out at least to the eye because it, it has the only tree on the golf course. That's right. That's why it's called Lone Fur, this hole. And uh, especially when they played off that short tee in the U.S. Open, 167 yards to the middle of the green. This is certainly a chance for a birdie coming in. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. Well, at least he can draw on the experience from the previous hole. Again, in the bunker. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. That is classy. Well, the chance of going in. Even par currently. Oh. 
good solid par right there. Now to the three hole finishing stretch here at Chambers Bay and we get it started with a relatively short par four. It's a 423 yard hole, the 16th Frank. Been slightly to the right. Um, there's a huge bunker all the way down the right side that sort of starts, I don't know, maybe about 100 yards off the tee, goes all the way to the green. You go right and then you realize why this hole is called the beach. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops. You're a good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Kind of a tricky read. These putts keep the round together. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Pressure's beginning to rise here. 17th hole of the U.S. Open at Chambers Bay. And this one, Frank, the par three will require a really good shot. It's amazing how many U.S. Opens have uh, great 17th hole. I think a wing foot, par three, 17th, even Marion, par three. This one will certainly fit in the same vein. It's named derailed, and it will derail many a player trying to win a U.S. Open. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Solid play, heart of the green. From about eight feet. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Settles in over the putt. He's made it. Now to the 18th hole. Frank, everyone wants to finish in style. Yeah, the home hole here, you know, once again, you head back to just a, a wonderful view, and you realize that Chambers Bay was designed as a walking golf course, and uh, it was designed to have fun and test every department in your game. 18 will do that. It probably gives you more trouble on both sides of the hole than any other hole on the golf course. And now the second shot here at this par five. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Bogey here yesterday. Chance to better that today. That birdie will help, Frank. Certainly moving into the top half, that's for sure. And uh, starting to narrow that number down in front. So through three rounds just outside the top ten, what kind of a chance do you give a player who is uh, sitting outside the first ten? Yeah, it's slim. I, I certainly...